My name is Wally from the Dean Team. I'm going to go over uh, battery uh, cable connections. This cart is not as bad as some of the ones we see, but uh, it definitely needs uh, new cables. One, the gauge. The gauge is thinner. Uh, we usually go with a four gauge, a little bit thicker wire, um, but you'll notice the corrosion starting. And so we're going to clean these up, put new lugs, new wire, and reconnect everything in series. Like, uh, and it'll it'll make the uh, batteries uh, run better, last a little bit longer. But what you'll need is you'll need uh, four gauge lugs that you'll crimp onto the four gauge cable. We buy it in a spool. Normally, you'll measure out the lengths. Um, usually, whatever those lengths are. Uh, I've seen a couple that were homemade, so we'll probably redo them. They don't need to be as long, some of them. So you'll need a good set of battery cutters. Um, you'll need a crimper. Uh, this is a special crimper. <laughs> uh, it'll do all different size lugs. Basically, you put it in there and crimp it. So having something like this might not be as easy for the, the, uh, the home the homeowner buy a cheaper crimper and basically the lug would go in in here like this with the wire and then you would smack it with a hammer okay so basically you can do one at a time or or you can take them off and measure them all at once yeah here's what you're going to get stuff like that where it was just forked in there and somebody made these and that's not a real good connection. You want it crimped good like that. This is something somebody bought at the parts store and, and tried to make their own little clamp. That's not a real good, real good setup. So basically you would take a, a wire like this and you can see the difference in the cable. Uh, six gauge versus four gauge is a lot lot difference you know so this is going to make it uh, you know run run a little bit better plus last longer so uh, basically you do it one or two ways you can either do it like this or you can measure each cable if you want to measure it a lot of times you can just uh, you know you can be a little bit longer you just can't be shorter so as long as you're a little bit longer you're fine and the way I do it is I'll do like this. This is how I strip them. You can kind of cut it like that. Strip it down like that. Make sure you get everything in there. I always crimp from the back side. There is a front side where the split is. I always crimp from the back side. And the way this one goes, just kind of center it. that'll make a, a good strong crimp where that's not coming out ever. <laughs> you want to look to, there's a little bit of corrosion on these. You want to kind of clean them up too. So here's, I, I use just a wire brush, kind of Clean. You might ought to have safety glasses. Just watch that you don't flip any any corrosion back up in your eyes. Yeah, if you can see now this one, it actually had a piece. Let me get that off of there. It's got a piece of an old terminal that's on there. Look at that. There's a piece of an old terminal that was stuck on there. <laughs> now you can put some dielectric grease on there if you want. We've used a battery, um, kind of a battery protector uh, spray that we'll put on there. Kind of look at the, the nuts too because if any of the, the nuts were loose at one time they'll actually melt and kind of burn. And We've seen where some of these will actually be half the size because they're they were on there and they were loose at one time or not not tightened down. They're tight. Don't, and you got to watch if you're using an impact, don't over tighten them. 
You just kind of want to go to where you hear that bump and a bump, and that's good enough. Pretty much done. I wanted to show uh, a little bit on the corrosions. Here's some of your, your cables. That definitely is, uh, is bad. I went ahead and just replaced all of them. And then if you ever have a, uh, like you'll see some like this to where it actually starts melting the nut because it was loose over a period of time and it actually, as it was loose, it just sat there and, and got hot and heated up and it will actually melt. Uh, if you see the difference between the two, well, here's a, here's a better, better idea. These are the same nuts, but look at how much is melted. You can see that's that's definitely going to cause uh, resistance, and that causes uh, the batteries to heat up. Uh, and basically, is a loose connection, and it basically starts melting the nut and starts. It'll actually weld uh, to that post. 